welcome to the newest edition of How to Play Cult Divinity Lost from the dark minds that brought you the long, strange trips of Manhattan, Heartland, The Experiment, and more. In one of our previous tutorials, it was suggested that upholding your end of the horror contract requires you to describe the setting, including all of the horrors, personalities, and creatures that are in it. In this tutorial, we highlight one of the most important things you will do as a Game Master in Cult Divinity Lost, which is to maintain the conversation and fiction of your game. This will require you to get familiar with some very important responsibilities. You will also need to be able to handle the rules decisions during your live games by assessing the many situations that may arise while still being able to keep your players in the fiction of your game. Fortunately, the Masters at Helmgast have provided you a tool to assist with your prioritizations. Within the core rules awaits a list of principles that will guide your decisions and moves, as well as provide inspiration for creating those memorable moments that will haunt your players for years. Playing the game of Cult Divinity Lost is simply having a conversation with your players. Speaking as their characters, they describe their thoughts, feelings, actions, and so on. Speaking as the Game Master, your job is to explain everything else. You fill out all of the details of your world from its inhabitants to the smells, looks, tastes, and beyond. You will also take on the roles of the non-player characters that the player characters interact with. Use the agenda outlined in the core rules to keep the conversation on the right path. The agenda is three items you will want to refer to often as an effective Cult Divinity Lost Game Master. They are there to remind you that you must tear back the illusion and reveal the reality behind it. Keep your players on edge, only giving them brief moments of respite and let the PC's actions make an impact, regardless of the consequences. Before outlining the principles, we must mention the fiction. The fiction is the story of Cult Divinity Lost that you and your players are creating as you play. It will be referred to in the core rules and these tutorials often. The principles are your guide for running the game. They are the keys to your success as you weave your horrific conversation through the worlds of Cult Divinity Lost. Insinuate the Supernatural As the Game Master, you will want to create a world in which the characters suspect something is terribly wrong but they cannot tell what. You will need to introduce odd occurrences and strange details that disturb the character's senses about what is real. Reality exists just beyond the illusion, and with the right details, you will make the characters feel as though their world is falling apart and something terrible could happen at any moment. Address the characters, not the players. This is an important and simple technique to foster your agenda and help immerse the players into the horror. When you speak to the characters, it puts all of you inside of the story rather than looking in on it. Make your moves, but use the fiction to disguise why. Being the Game Master, you will make your moves based on real-world events, such as when a PC enters a new location, a player rolls and you get hold, or when the rules require, but you should act as if the reason is due to the events of the story. For example, if the GM's move is to capture someone, she should never say, since you failed your act under pressure move when sneaking into the factory, you make it only halfway before they catch you. Instead say, after you climb through the broken window, you drop down onto some old glass panes which break with a loud crash. After a few seconds, it seems like you are in the clear, but as you exit into the main hallway, you only make it a few feet before there are footsteps behind you. Two security guards stare at you down the barrels of their rifles. Another two guards emerge from the rooms. What do you do?
describe your moves in the fiction. It is better to describe how damage is taken, for example, than to say, you take damage. The claws, teeth, blades, and bullets should all leave very distinct and descriptive traces. Describe them to your players. Assign motivations to all of your NPCs. Without being overly complicated, give your non-player characters reasons for acting the way they do. This will help guide their reactions and actions as the story unfolds. Give your creatures their own internal logic. Every entity in Cult Divinity Lost has a backstory, a place in the cosmology, and in their own motivations. Regardless of how inhuman they appear, they have drives and urges in the same way that your human NPCs do. Nephrites seek out the Guildridden. Victors seek and impose control. Wraiths haunt because they desire something. Giving your creatures their own internal logic gives them life. Ask questions and build on the answers. Start simple and build towards more direct questions. Begin asking characters for descriptions or minor details. As the story progresses, ask about experiences, emotions, memories and the like. You will be able to build on this information and it also gives the characters a chance to add to their depth. Follow up on these answers by throwing in details, causing the PCs to doubt their reality, incorporating the answer into your story later on, or use the answer to develop existing or new threats. Be a fan of the player characters. Give your PCs the opportunities to be cool as well as vulnerable, without smashing every bit of progress they may have made. It can be scary and difficult, I know, but validate their actions and let them react. Think beyond the scene from time to time. When you're about to make one of your moves, you might consider what the NPCs have been up to. Has anything happened recently off-screen that could affect the outcome or become apparent now? Pulling in links from the other occurrences will help make your world more real and the threats you create more interesting. With a firm foundational understanding of the conversation, your fiction, and the principles in the core rules to help guide it, you will create the scenes that will bring terror to your players and execute your moves effectively enough to make the Death Angels envious. Thank you, Helm Gas, for producing this wonderfully dark game and enduring my madness while I produce this content. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up and subscribe button. Don't forget to click the little bell icon so you know when the next part of this series is available. Please visit Cult Divinity Lost for resources and links to game materials.